Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's MTG box analysis will focus on the opening of a Commander Masters set booster box that took place on February 2nd, 2024. Let's get things started by reviewing the contents of the box. Using this chart, we can see the cards that we were eligible to see shaded in gray, the non-foils we pulled in green, and the foils in orange. In the non-foil space, we saw between 39 and 46 cards for each of the colors of magic, along with 28 borderless. In the foil space, we saw between one and four cards for each of the colors of magic and four foil borderless. Moving into coverage, in the non-foil space, we saw 324 unique cards from the 533 cards we were eligible to obtain, giving us 61% coverage. This is just slightly higher than Monday's box. Our highest coverage among the primary colors of magic was a tie between black and green, each with 70%. In the foil space, we saw 29 unique cards, giving us 5% of the cards we were eligible to see. Our highest coverage among the colors of magic was again a tie, but this time it's between red and green, each with 6%. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in today's box, we saw 98% of the commons and 66% of the uncommons we were eligible to see in non-foil. We also picked up 60 of the 169 rares for 36% coverage and 8 non-foil mythics for 15% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 10% of the commons and 5% of the uncommons, along with two foil rares for 1% coverage and one foil mythic for 2% coverage. In the end, this box contains 64 rares and 10 mythics in 24 packs, if we include the cards we pulled off of the list. From a duplication standpoint, this box was pretty darn good. We only saw 7 cards repeated twice for a duplication rate of 2%. Before getting into the value of today's box, let's take a look at the current value of the set. This chart displays all 533 cards that you can pull from a set booster pack using non-foil market prices as of February 1st, 2024. Currently, the set contains 42 cards valued over $10, as the Training Center and Grave Pack have increased this week. Now, of these 42 cards, 14 of these cards are valued over $25, and 5 of them are valued over $50. The set also contains 48 cards valued between $5 and $10, and 92 cards in the $1 to $5 range. The other two-thirds of the set, or 351 cards, are valued under a dollar. A set of all 533 cards have a current market value of $1,807.90, which is up about $33 since Monday's box opening. Now let's begin to recap the actual observed value that we saw in today's box, starting off with a look at the non-foils. In today's box, we saw seven cards valued over $10, including the Training Center, Morphon the Boundless, Flawless Maneuver, Ruby Medallion, Deadly Rollick, Smothering Tide, and the number two card that we could have pulled, the Jeweled Lotus, valued at $99.78. We also saw 16 cards valued over $5 with the Hammer of Nazan, valued at $9.96, taking the top spot. And the box even contained 39 cards valued between $1 and $5. The other 269 non-foils in the box are currently valued under a dollar. In the foil space, this box was not so great. We didn't see any cards valued over $10 and only the Ashnod's Altar in the $5 to $10 range. We did pick up nine foils valued between $1 and $5, but the other 19 foils in the box are valued under a dollar. So how did this box perform? Well, the market price for this box as of February 1st is $296.39. The Commander Master Set Booster Box contains 24 packs, each with 15 cards, allowing you to see 360 cards plus tokens. Now, the 18 tokens and 24 art cards that we pulled have a current market value of $26.05 combined, thanks mostly due to the signed Sliver Grave Mother valued at $7, which is the number two art card that you can pull from the set. Now, the six cards that we saw from the list were fair, but only have a combined value of $6.22. The 24 retro lands and 157 commons combined have a value of $50.39, and the 108 uncommons are valued at $66.29. Now, the 62 rares that we saw from the Commander Master set have a combined value of $187.59, and our nine mythics are valued at $172.13. Add it all up and the grand total for this box comes up to be $508.67 in card market value, which is a gain of $212 over the market price for the box and means that it returned 172% of the market price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw 49 cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have a current combined value of $401.71, which means that those 49 cards represent 79% of the box total and 136% of the market price. 
Before we close out the video, let's compare the four set booster boxes open so far on the channel. Here's a recap of what we've seen in the four boxes. Now, despite the colors, there's only a little bit of variation here. What's important to note is that the coverage and duplication is very consistent across the boxes, and you can expect to see two to three signed art cards and six to seven cards from the list. You're probably also going to see between 58 and 62 rares and between seven and nine mythics. From a value perspective, here's how the four boxes look using market prices as of February 1st, 2024. As you can see, despite the card distribution being very close, there are some dramatic differences in card value for the categories. Today's box performed the best in the art card space with $20.86 in value, but today's box was second for the list. I think it's important to note that for the list slot, this is not a key slot for the set. Now, for the basic lands and commons, today's box was the best of the four, but today's box was second best for the uncommons and third for the rares. Finally, this box just barely lost to the first one in the mythic value slot with less than $5 difference. And here's a look at the total market value of the four boxes. As you can see, every single one of the boxes has breached the market value by more than 100 bucks, and two of the boxes by more than $200. Is there a bad set booster box of Commander Masters out there? I'm sure there is. Luckily, I haven't found it, and I hope you never do either. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, do something amazing. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people. All by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.